Here we are then for another My Team episode and this one is going to be the Japanese Grand Prix and we're here for qualifying. First of all though, if you haven't seen yesterday's race at Italy, the previous episode, go check out that link up in the top right. Spoiler warning, uh, spoilers are ahead. So yeah, here we are then, a new weekend, another race, another opportunity and uh, we went ahead and went through our activities also renewing the sponsorships. We've got quite a few days until the next race and a lot is going to happen including some upgrades to the durability uh, department I believe and we're going to actually now bring up let's say or you know have a competitive durability department because we've only got one more upgrade left and this is a supplier upgrade you know, we can't do nothing about this this is up to Mercedes to bring these improvements and uh, this one should arrive soon but we've had two of these arrive for this race so hopefully that will help us out in terms of general wear on the car, on the both power unit and the gearbox. Now then, breaking news heading into this weekend, Carlos Sainz is announcing his retirement for season eight. And if you saw my community post yesterday, I announced that we are going to do one more season because of the release date of the new F1 game. I can't really do another career mode, so we're gonna do one extra final season in my team. So Sainz won't be present next season and he'll be leaving Ferrari. So a bit of a shuffle on the cards. Now, the even bigger news is last race, you guys know we had an engine failure. And unfortunately, it was the control electronics, which means we don't have a fresh one available. So the weekend is already off to a terrible start as we're gonna have to take a grid penalty this weekend for a fresh control electronics. And just to note, the rest of my components are fine. Uh, they're no more than 20% worn. And we've got spares in you know most of them as well so there's no concern about making it to the end of the season on the engine components it's just the fact that we lost one of the components which only has two available for the entire season so yeah with that said and uh, with a fresh control electronics in the back of our car we're going to take part in qualifying because i want to see if i can still get pole and then worst ways we go back 10 places and start from p11 which is still okay and uh, you saw on the weather forecast there is rain for the race tomorrow so i think normally i wouldn't care but in this situation i want to be as hard as possible and you know really be ready for that rain if it were to arrive so here we are going through the setup menu again as always making the adjustments for this weekend and we now hit the track in q1 let's see if we can hopefully get through on one set of tires and get the job done as we make our way into the casio triangle aka the final chicane for the final time or for the first time should i say as we open the rs and run up to the line and it's going to be a 24 9 which is not a great lap uh, it felt okay but it wasn't great in terms of lap time i then had a cool down lap and went for a second push you can see this time we're four tenths up so shaving off quite a bit of time if we can find a little bit more we might dip into a high 24-4 and uh, you can see currently two tenths off driven that's in p12 but the final sector is our strongest one and we're faster than anybody else as we throw the car through the chicane in fourth gear up to fifth get the, the drive off the corner and then run up to the line the is open and we go purple in sector three and we do indeed scrape a high four so yeah we went back to the pit lane and we were sitting in P14. However, the gap to Lungard and Guan Yu Zhou, both of the Aston Martins, was about four to five tenths. So we're going to take a decision here and not go out once again and save a set of tyres. In the meantime, following on from that first run, I'm going to make a few tweaks to the setup, including the tyre pressures, also the diff to try and improve a bit of rotation, and also reduce the front wing to give us a bit more stability uh, without hopefully creating too much understeer on the front end and uh, also preparing the fuel for our Q2 runs as we retire from the session and luckily job done we get through so does Pierre Gasly uh, having said that quite a big gap you know we're half a second off our teammate which is um, quite a bit to find it does seem like we're a bit off the pace here this weekend so getting into Q3 is going to be a challenge for us in itself so uh, yeah, that's the results for Q1. Verstappen, I think, was fastest by like four tenths. He's in a different planet compared to everyone else at the minute. So, yeah, that's the kind of story in Q1 as we jump into Q2. Fresh set of tyres on the wagon, and we're going to try and push on with these setup changes and see if we can improve. So let's go for a full lap of Suzuka. Not a great first corner as we pick up some understeer and uh, didn't quite catch the first or second apex. Into the S section now, though, 
and trying to be aggressive here, attacking the curbs and uh, making sure we carry a good, decent mid corner speed. Making our way now through Dunlop. We just clip the inside curb and just have a moment as we almost lose the car completely and crash into the wall and invalidate as we ran off the track. But a bit of a moment there at high speed as we just caught the inside curb at Dunlop, which is a very, very slippery, uh, deadly curb, and you have to try and avoid it. Eventually, we brought the car back to the pits. I went back out again on the exact same set of tyres because they weren't that used. And I wanted to try and get a banker on the board. And you can see here, now out the final corner, running up to the line. It's going to be a 24-4 and faster, a bit faster, just a fraction faster than our Q1 best time. So uh, we got to a decent start. It's a, it's a good looking banker. However, we need a bit more. And with a minute to go, we're currently 14th and out. So we need to try and hook up a good lap. And I think we're going to need at least four tenths. So here we go. DRS open as we start the lap, making our way down into turn one and turn two. Turn in this time, keeping it nice and tight, especially through the second apex as we find a load of time through there. We're a tenth up already. Now into the S's, keeping it in sixth and then down a fifth, briefly back up to sixth and trying to carry that speed. We have to correct a little bit there through that third one as we touched the inside curb and had to compensate on the wheel rotation. Up through Dunlop though, and we're a tenth and a half up in the first sector. Degna 1 committing a lot of speed and then Degna 2 we get great drive and a really smooth exit out of there and find quite a bit more time up towards the hairpin straight line braking third gear tip the nose into the apex try to not lock up and then important here to get the drive and exit out of the corner two and a half tenths up keep the car super tight to the right as we approach the spoon curve spot the 50 down two gears and then down a third if you struggle with front end like I did around here and then crucially, you need to try and get the drive out of this corner. And you can see now we're two and a half tenths up, making our way into sector three, which is our strongest sector. At this point, brake bias up to 51. Straight line brake, spot the braking, fourth gear at 100. Attack it. We've run a little bit deep there. Didn't quite get all the inside curb through the right as I broke a bit too late. And we don't really improve that much in the final sector. We do go purple in that final sector, but is it going to be enough? to move into Q3. No, it isn't. Unfortunately, we're out in Q2. So, yeah, with the grid penalty, we are going to be starting last. And to be fair, a bit disappointing. I really thought we had a bit more pace than that, but it seems like, you know, Pierre out in P11 as well. We're just lacking a bit of pace around this track, at least in qualifying. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be P22 for us in the race. We tried to, you know, get P1 or at least get you know top five or something to try and you know at least I'll start from the very back of the grid but it wasn't to be so uh, yeah qualifying over Pierre P11 we finish at P13 I probably could have got through on an absolutely perfect lap uh, we had that little correction through the S's and I made a mistake of course into the final chicane as well so there was a bit of time to find but it would have been close either way guys as if a qualify that's if a qualifying the race will be tomorrow tune in we're gonna go all in we're gonna give it everything we've got and we're gonna leave nothing to chance and there is rain forecast so make sure you watch the race but yeah guys like subscribe check out the videos on screen in a moment if you haven't done so already and as always a massive shout out to the channel members for supporting the content but yeah guys thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow for the race